बेसिक एंड इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज एम एच फॉर फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री मेडिकल एंड हेल्थ केयर प्रोडक्ट्स रेगुलेटरी एजेंसी दैट इज एम एच आर ए इज द यू के रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी ए गवर्नमेंट एजेंसी फॉर मेडिसिन एंड मेडिकल डिवाइसेज विच कंट्रीज डज एम एच आर ए रेगुलेट द एम एच आर ए प्राइमरली रेगुलेट्स मेडिसिन एंड मेडिकल डिवाइसेज इन द यू के दैट इज यूनाइटेड किंगडम इंक्लूडिंग इंग्लैंड स्कॉटलैंड वेल्स एंड नॉर्दर आइलैंड इट ऑल्सो कोलेबरेट्स इंटरनेशनली बट डज नॉट डिरेक्टली रेगुलेट अदर कंट्रीज what is frequency for mhra audit the frequency of mhra audits typically ranges from every 2 years to 3 years depending on risk assessments and compliance history which are the major five areas which mhra commonly look during the audit of pharmaceutical industry here are the major five areas which mhra commonly look these are first quality management system second good manufacturing practices or gmp compliance third documentation and record keeping fourth staff training and competency and fifth product quality and safety what are the benefits of clearing mhr audit the major benefit is market access by clearing mhr audit facility ensures continued or new market access to the uk that is united kingdom second benefit is regulatory compliance that is it demonstrates adherence to regulatory standards third reputation enhancement that is boost creditability and trust with stakeholders fourth important benefit is product safety and quality that is by clearing mhra audit we confirm high standard of product safety and quality fifth important benefit is risk mitigation that is reduces the risk of legal issues and product recalls what is role of mhra in pharmaceutical industry the major important role is surveillance and authorization MHRA authorizes medicinal products for sale in UK that is United Kingdom. Second role is quality assurance and enforcement and third important role is safety promotion and data management. Compliance with which regulatory guidelines is crucial or important for clearing MHRA audit? First is good manufacturing practices. For this UGMP guide part 1, part 2 and part 3. Second is good clinical practices that is GCP for this ICH E6 and GCP directives third good distribution practices that is GDP fourth pharmacovigilance and fifth important data integrity for data integrity data integrity and GMP as per UGMP guide annex 11 are majorly checked what are the typical timelines for responding to MHRA audit findings typically companies are expected to respond to MHRA audit findings within 15 to 30 days depending on the severity and complexity of findings what is major difference between mhra audit and usfda audit you can refer below table for major differences between mhra audit and usfda audit with respect to five important aspects that is regulatory authority standards geographical scope audit process and enforcement actions what is the mhra yellow card scheme it's a scheme for reporting suspected side effects or incidents involving medicines vaccines and medical devices what types of products does mhra regulate mhra regulates pharmaceuticals biological medicines medical devices blood and transplant materials how does mhra enforce compliance mhra enforces compliance through inspections issuing license and taking regulatory actions against non compliant manufacturers in which cases mhra performs an announced audit case 1 when there is serious complaint or whistle blowing secondly in case of product recalls or defects third previous non compliance fourth safety concerns and fifth high risk products or processes how does mhra interact with european regulations MHRA aligns with European Union regulations on medicines and medical devices to ensure consistency across the EU market. What documentation is essential for an MHRA audit? Essential documentation includes quality management system that is QMS documentation which includes change controls, deviations, CAPA, OS, OT investigations, market complaints and batch records, validation reports and SOPs. what measures does mhra take to ensure confidentiality and security of audit findings 
MHRA maintains confidentiality of audit findings and ensures secure handling of sensitive information obtained during inspections. Last very important question, what steps can a pharmaceutical company take to prepare for an MHRA audit? Companies should conduct internal audits, maintain comprehensive documentation, train staff on regulatory requirements and address any identified deficiencies. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to the channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.